exactly guys so for adding the port files into a project first you need to install cocoa ports inside your system so for that uh, first of all open up the browser okay enter cocoa ports okay so we have to click on the cocoa port side so it will navigate to the cocoa port side so as we can see that here written is that cocoa port is a dependency manager so basically uh, cocoa ports create his own xcode workspace for handling all of your uh, port files regarding these uh, third party libraries you used into your projects so for that we have to install cocoa ports so follow these instructions as we can see that here written is that enter this command into terminal for installing the cocoa ports so copy this command open up the terminal inside terminal paste this command and hit enter guys i am not going to install cocoa ports right now because i already in, in, in installed cocoa ports into my system so uh, and one more thing is that uh, some of you guys uh, uh, face the problem something like this error installing cocoa ports active support requires uh, ruby version this is because that your uh, uh so something like your your system's ruby version is uh, uh, lower than cocoa ports compatible compatibility so for that you need to uh, you need to install active support first so for that copy this command and enter this before you before you install cocoa ports so after installing active support you are not going to face the error uh, during uh, installation of cocoa boards all right so uh, after installing the cocoa boards now your system has cocoa boards installed inside uh, the uh, inside the, your system so for that so now you are able to add any of the boards into your xcode projects and make use of them so uh, so, so for that suppose uh, I have one project this is my project and I need to install pod file into that uh, Xcode project so for that open up the terminal and uh, uh, CD space and the whatever uh, wherever my project is so I just uh, drag this project to the terminal so for that path hit enter so it will navigate to the, uh, the project's destination so here now enter the command pod init basically uh, this command uh, initialize the pod file create a new pod file into your xcode project and also create a workspace to handle all the pod files so uh, hit enter pod init okay so uh, as as we can see that uh, it initialized the port file so we can check in the our project file my project my demo and uh, here we can see that now our uh, here we can see that uh, port file is creating so as we can create uh, open the port file now, right now we can't see any of the port install uh, inside the port file suppose I want to add uh, any of the port file so I have to add uh, following port command into the port file so for example go to the browser I want to install Aloma fire uh, uh, ports to my Aloma uh, library to my project Aloma fire is a uh, basically a networking library so for that go for Aloma fire go to this github file githubs side then here we can see that cocoa board installation is yes yes here uh, we already complete the first step the install cocoa board so for uh, second step we have to add this pod file uh, uh, you can you you uh, you can install any of the third party libraries and uh, you find this type of somewhat pod command uh, to add into your pod file so for that uh, open up the pod file and here you are going to paste this command pod aloma fire 3.4 okay save save the pod file by uh, clicking command s uh, close the pod file so
so for that we have now uh, so, so guys so here port file is already created and we add the uh, following aloma fire port so we need to install the uh, install the port inside our project so for that we need to update the port so there are two ways either you can install the port or uh, you are going to update the port so suppose i am going to port update so it is going to update all for checking all the port files and uh, finding uh, what what are the ports there already so it's taking some long time or all right installing alarm of fire okay generating ports project all right it installed the cocoa ports successfully four ports installs here we can see that is port installation complete there is one dependency from port file and one total port install install alarm of fire so uh, guys you can see that now here we can see one more file added to our project xcode workspace and uh, the an another two files port.log and ports folder so in the ports folder all the po uh, following port files are there and the port.log file is for uh, it will keep track on the ports uh, version so for right now we can see that here is aloma fires version 3.2 4.1 so port port file dot log is the file which can keep track on the version of the ports. Uh, so after after installing the ports, we are going to use work from now onwards for this project. We are going to use workspace. So for that project, open up the workspace. It's opening. Mm, take some little bit time okay all right and here we can see that this is our projects file uh, my demo and this is view controller and main dot storyboard and with the one more thing is added to the uh, one more thing is added to the uh, project that ports here we can see that uh, it is it uh, it creates port file the port we are going to we which we updated the port file and the frameworks uh, which we added ports in the ports we can see that aloma fire is then and all the supporting files regarding aloma fire is here so now we can easily use the port files into our project that suppose uh, uh, in this view controller dot ship we have to use aloma fire there is going so so we have to import this module directly that import space aloma fire Oh, it is uh, not uh, LMO fire. Sorry, guys, for um, the problem is that uh, my Xcode is not till now built, uh, so um. First, you have to build that. Uh, press Command B, so it is going to build uh, again. So now it it commit the port files into our project. So now I am going to try import and Aloma. So now I can see that here Aloma Fire module is added. Added. So I am going to use import Aloma Fire. So from now onwards, I am going to use any of the methods and third party uh, files exist directly in inside my project. All right, this is all. Thank you, guys. Everything changes.